Okay. Hey everyone, we're gonna do a couple of drills to get you going for basketball season to work on your hand-eye coordination that you can do at home, inside, without messing up your parents' home. You can also do it right outside in your yard, in your grass, or in your backyard. So make sure as you are exercising and you're having fun, remember the parks are closed, but we want you to stay safe. So these are things that you can do at home. Here we go. First is dribbling and hand placement. I want you to keep your hand above the ball. Try not to hit it with the palm of your hand. You want to keep it with your fingertips. And let's practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The goal is to be able to do it and not stare at your hand and stare at the ball at the same time. Try your left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Each time you do it, you want to try to make your numbers get higher. Next one is side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you want to keep practicing that because if you can do it sitting, and you master it, then you can do it standing up. So once you get it really good sitting, then you want to go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Always remember keeping the ball at your waist height. You don't want it to go too high. You can't control it or dribble. Same with the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another one that you can do, it's a lot of fun, is just balancing the ball. You can do this against your parents. Try to see how high you can go, how low you can go, and what you can do controlling the ball, going left to right. Next one, this one's kind of hard, but it's a lot of fun. You can challenge your parents with this one, even more fun. So this is about catching the ball, working on your hands, and your hand-eye coordination. So, a lot of people like to do one foot in front of the other, like you're doing a crossover dribble. Take the ball, and you got it, you're gonna do a figure eight. Try to keep your head up, keep your waist down, get the ball around. Sorry about that. Get the ball around, keep your body up and do that. And then you wanna do it both legs back and forth. Next one is taking the ball, switching, and catching. So take it, hold it up nice and tight, switch, catch. The key to this one is don't sit your bottom down or you're gonna fall down on the ground. Next one you can do, nice ball at home. If you've got a wall or something you can sit on, 